Hi, my name is Courtney, and I actually just finished reading a book called um, The Chocolate Sunday Mystery by the Boxcar Children. Um, the author's name is Gertrude Warner. This is what it looks like. It's actually about um, a set of siblings, and um, there's four of them, that love this ice cream shop. It's called The Shop, and um, they like to go there for lunch and just kind of hang out. It's like a great environment, so when they find out that they're they need some help with the shop, they decide to help them out. And um, what's great about it is that it really just um, shows the amount of giving and servitude that these children have, which is great quality to have. Um, well, what happens is there's some strange things happening at the shop that are going to cause it to have to close down. And so the children decide to make it their mission to find out who's doing it. And um, it's a great for like a third grade level because the third graders are um, a little bit more keen to pictures and there's a few pictures in here to kind of add to that. But also they are more into chapter books and mysteries and solving and their brains work a little bit faster than a second grader. So um, the fact that that is occurring, the author actually writes the book in such a way that the beginning kind of is more about the characters and understanding where they're coming from and kind of being a little bit of suspicion, but there's no actual, um, they don't actually, like, sus suspect people until, like, the middle of the book, so you're able to decide who you think it is beforehand and before they even bring up that subject, so it's kind of cool. Um, in that sense, and it also teaches a lot about moral limitations, things like that, and what I think is like one of the most interesting things about the book is that it teaches that people can have good morals and have a good mindset, but sometimes doing the right thing isn't, or what you think the right thing is, isn't always actually the right thing to do. So um, it's really good, and I would definitely recommend reading it to um, any child um, from like second, third grade on up, um, but it would probably be best for a third grade level.